Hi, I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com, and today's flute tip is on breathing quickly, quietly, and deeply. Breathing in the middle of a solo can sometimes be really tricky to do it properly. Um, actually, I don't think it's so tricky. We just think that it's really tricky, and so we don't do it properly. Generally, when we're playing in the middle of a solo and we need to grab a breath, we do the <sighs> that kind of breath because that's what comes naturally. Uh, I do it, my students do it, unless I think about it. And if I really plan, I can correct that. Uh, Trevor Y once said at a flute convention, I was listening to him talk, I'm not sure what the actual topic was, but he talked about how everybody breathes so noisily and that in the competition, I think he had been a judge, he wanted to hear less breathing. Today's way of recording, you know, recordings can take out all that, but in a live performance, you need to take it out. And most of the time, we don't really think about it. It's something that just happens. You just breathe, where, especially if it's really fast. You're going in a real fast passage that lasts a while and you're just grabbing those little breaths that they come. But really, when you do it properly, it is just as easy and just as quick. So I'm not going to get into the whole thing about how to breathe properly. I've done that before. You can look that up, but just remember that when you fill up, you're filling up your stomach and your rib cage. You're expanding them both so that they are all the way out when you inhale, and then you are pressing against them with the muscles are tight, and you're pressing on your rib cage so that they don't go in. So you get to control how they go in. Now, the, the thing about breathing is to remember that when you take a breath, let's go with deeply first, make it a deep breath. So when I do this in the middle of a piece, that is not a deep breath. That's a quick breath that I need to just get me through some passage. Um, the better way to be is to deep. And all I need to do is open up, relax my throat, relax the muscles that have been tight, and it fills up almost by itself. You have to just add a little bit to it. So if I'm playing, 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 and everything's in, all I need to do is relax. I think nature abhors a vacuum. So it wants to fill up. And when you have used up your stomach and your ribcage air, and everything is tight and it's squished in, all you relax, it's going to fill up. Now, if I compare this to, um, compare this breathing to, I would be hard pressed to say that this was a longer breath or took more time than that breath. I think that they're equal. I can do the deep breath just as easily as I can do the short one that I think I have to have there. Okay, now this goes along with breathing quietly because generally the reason why your breath is not quiet is because the throat is tight. So when I do the, that is my throat being tight. I did not drop the back of my tongue and raise the, uh, soft palate, such as a singer would do. When they sing, they get ready. Everything is open in there. And that's how we should be playing as well. But when you take that breath, it's consciously thinking about that. The best way to think about that is to take a yawning breath. Now in the middle of the piece, you can't yawn. Taking, if sometimes people thinking of a yawning breath, they just automatically yawn. Well, you just have to discipline yourself that you can take a yawning breath without actually yawning. And what I mean by that is when you yawn, your everything opens up. And generally it opens up all the way to your sinus cavity up here. It, it is a straight path up and down, okay? That's your aim, you're looking for that. And if I wanna do it without yawning, I just think, let me relax my throat and open it as big as a, you know, a, 
a pipe, a tunnel, some type of um, round passage that you want to think of. You want to make it as big enough, think about it being big enough that an orange could go down or something like that. It's not going to be. But if you imagine that, you're going to open it up as much as it can be. And the soft palate will rise and the back of the tongue will go down. So if I just think about that and I fill up, it's a quiet breath, isn't it? It's very quiet and it helps me to breathe deeply. So taking a yawning breath, filling it up all the way below is very quick and it's very quiet. So we're filling up below, relaxing the stomach and the rib cage, and we're taking a yawning breath, which opens the throat and your sinus cavity, which of course is going to give you a better sound, helps that resonance to get through to your tone. A yawning breath does that. And then it's the discipline of the middle of the piece that you can actually take a quick breath in the middle of a piece and have it be deeply deep, quiet, and quick. Let's see if I'll play something here and try to demonstrate that while I'm playing. <laughs> Now the second breath, I didn't plan quite as well. There was a, it wasn't totally tight, but it was a little bit tight. Whereas the first breath, I planned it. Now I did take an extra, extra split second to take that breath because right now in the middle of a piece, I'm working on a solo. This happens to be an Anderson etude, but let's just say this was a solo. I need to discipline myself to learn how to take that kind of breath. So I might, and when I'm practicing, have to pause for a little bit and take the proper breath and then go on. That's the only way you can do it. If you don't actually take the time to learn, da -da -da -da, so I'm going to play da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, and, I, and not go da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, if I don't actually take the time to learn how to do it, I won't do it in performance. So it's something that you train yourself to do. Train yourself to take that quiet breath and not have to have some recording device and editing take that breath out. It's very important and it's doable. You can do it. So practice deeply, open up your rib cage and your stomach when you breathe and all you have to do really is relax those muscles relaxing those muscles allows the air to come in and it wants to come in and you only have to add a little bit of effort to that to fill it up the next thing is to open your throat which means take a yawning breath when you relax the stomach the rib cage and the throat all together it becomes a quick breath and you can do it very quickly and very quietly. Practice this. It takes a little bit of practice to, to figure it out. Um, you can do it in any solo at any time, no matter how quickly or how slowly you're playing, but it does take practice. It takes training, especially if you're used to doing it the other way, because what's going to happen when you're nervous you're going to go re resort back to your old habits. So you have to train new paths in your brain to do your breathing this way, that that is your only option. Try it. You're going to find out that it really will work for you. You'll have a lot of success. And not only does your breathing become quieter, which everybody likes, because who likes to have the gasping sound in the middle of a performance, but by opening it up, taking that yawning breath, you're going to have resonance that you didn't have before. Try it. You're going to like it. It will work for you and have fun. That's today's flute tip. If you like today's flute tip, press the like button, subscribe, comment below, and share it with your friends.